Hey, it's Ben, and this is Drambo by Beep Street. Um, this video is going to be about um, it's a project that you can download, like a template um, that's set up with like a global scale selector, and um, it's got like a couple scales built in. You can set the key that you want to play in. Um, and then it also has some settings for like adding in some harmony on top of the notes. And then um, it's kind of wired up also where you can like transpose um, some of the tracks off of the main sequencer, which leads to some cool harmony stuff as well. So um, just going to show you, I'm going to open up like my, I already have a sequence going. Um, this is in patch storage, by the way. So you just go download it. It's a project that you open up, but you can kind of like customize it and make it your own um, or set it as a template as well. But it's going to let us... kind of switch scales on the fly. So now I'm in a, a major scale. Um, I can also like just switch key. So like I was in C major. Um, now I'm going to be in D sharp major. And we can do another. Yeah, so I'm switching around scales. Um, I can add in harmony if I want using these interval controls. It'll always be in key. And then of course everything is like key lockable. Um, I can also transpose. You can do this on any project but it's set up here. So I can transpose certain tracks but they'll all be in the same key. Again, um, and I can even like transpose them using like transpose from the keyboard and then also transpose uh, MIDI module. So there's all sorts of cool things that you can do in Drambo with Harmony, but um, there's no global scale setting. So I wanted to try and just see if I could come up with um, something that allowed for that to happen. Um, so at the start of the chain, you have your scale selector, and the this is a CV sequencer. It's not doing anything. It's actually just showing you like what, um, which scale you've selected, the first, second, third, or fourth. Um, and I I'm using the semi or the the pitch module, the semi um, tone knob um, to select the pitch. It just mapped well. Um, initially, I was thinking I'd have twelve scales. I don't even know 12 scales. Um, so I've just left it at eight scales. Um, so it goes from one up to eight and eight is just chromatic. Um, so like whatever pitch data comes in is what comes out. And this is just set up as a control. So on each track, um, let's shrink that down. Um, you have like a, an actual scale module which has some, which has the scales in it, and the uh, basically the notes are being routed into um, different um, CV quantizers. It's checking to see which scale is active, and it's multiplying the gate um, information that's coming in by um, the CV sequencer. So if the scale isn't selected, the gate is being multiplied by zero and no notes sound. Basically, that's how that works. Um, so you could change the scales that are in here. I just have them set up. And then um, basically what's happening with the key is that um, like in, in Drambo, the CV, CV quantizers, um, they you have to set the actual notes that it quantizes too. So it's, it's actually C major, C Ionian. It's not just a major scale. Um, basically it modulates the pitch information up 
by the note that comes in here that I, that I set with my key. Um, and then it transposes it up. So actually what's going through C major all the time are whatever notes I'm playing and it might be transposed up if I've set the key differently. And then at the end of this section, it's gonna be modulated back down the same amount. So it sounds like it's in D major or E major or F sharp major or whatever. Um, and it is, but when it goes through the scale, the CV quantizer, it's actually being modulated up um, by like the difference from middle C, I think. Um, but that's how that works. Um, so you have a, a scale module, scale rack on each um, track, one through four. And then you also have this interval module, which allows you to like control just for this track what intervals you want to sound. So let's add in a couple. And I'm gonna solo this track. If I can remember how. Here. Okay. So this one's been soloed, and I'm gonna turn on all of the intervals, actually. There are some of them. So I have my global control here. And basically it's gonna check against these intervals also. So if both the global and the like track level intervals are set to all the way on, that means it's gonna generate notes based on that interval of the root note and then send it out in like an actual MIDI note sent to a MIDI mixer that's then going into the scale um, rack then it's going to MIDI to CV, and then it's going to whatever instruments are on the track. Um, so that just gives me a lot of control. You can actually um, set the intervals on your own, like per track. So let's see, I have interval three on. So it's a seven semitones. It could be an octave up. It could be wherever, doesn't matter. could be down and then I can turn them off and it'll just play the root note turn them back on and then what I think is fun you can turn the root note off so like on the regular chord module um, you can only like shift up it's always gonna send the root note and then you can send um, chords either up or down from the root note. But here, you can just turn the root note off for that track. Um, I don't know, I think it's fun. And you could P-lock any of this too. So like on here, the root note won't play, but on the other ones it will. Um, anything's P-lockable, obviously. Let's unsolo this. Um, so then, and now, like, if we want to transpose, you're going to see that track one and track two get their MIDI from these two transpose modules, and these modules are getting their MIDI from the track keyboard. So we can transpose them up. It'll still be in key. My bass track, which is this one, is not being transposed right now. But um, yeah, it's always gonna be in key. And then, so like I could, I have this sequence. I'm just gonna keep it, but I'm gonna yeah, transpose it here. And then I'm gonna make another sequence. And here, this is gonna be in minor scale. Set that there. So, um, if you wanted to like extend this, I just have it for four tracks. Um, let's go 
basically I've tried to make it really easy to wire up for you. Um, so I'm going to copy my intervals module. I'd like to copy it. Here, copy. I'm going to put it on track seven. It's going to go before your MIDI to CV. So paste. What you're going to have to like wire up um, are the actual intervals. So all you have to do is go into the individual intervals. This is a multiply mod module, and it's basically multiplying the... There's like an all setting, so I can turn off intervals for this whole... Um, this whole track by just setting this to off or on. So it's multiplying the, actually the shaper value, which is either one or zero by the gate. So gate, uh, knob, shaper. And then the multiply um, is looking for the chord, the gate, and then I guess the root note. But here under interval, it's looking at, is the chord on? Do we want it on? And then also on the main rack, you're going to have, and it's hidden right now, so I'm going to go back to seven. Um, these are the actual settings. So for like interval one, you can see it, it is a graphic shaper. So again, value zero value one when it's one it allows that like interval to pass through so you would just have to go in for interval one go into main find the interval connection for one now it's connected go to interval two interval on find interval two connection so on and so on um, and of course you can add in you can kind of like add in some extra controls here, add in some actual intervals. Um, so this is, is pitch information, pitch module, um, semitones up from the root note, the multiply module for like, do we even want intervals on this track? And then also just this one. Oh, this is the track, the um, main one. I know it's a lot. And then the individual track, same thing, interval two. This, you won't have to wire up again. And then, so it's like the individual, or the, like the, the main check, do we want this interval on? And then the track check, do we want this interval on? Then that gate gets passed through, if all of them are on, to the MIDI note generator, and there's a mixer, and it gets sent out. Um, so you would like wire that up, interval on, go to the main interval connections. And then the scale one is even easier. There's less to connect. So let's copy it, paste it in, unfold it, uncompact it. So all you would have to, um, like plug in would be the selector signal for input. Very front of the track, you want the selector signal output, which is this scale. Or it's a shaper, actually. Um, and then you need your key in because that's what's going to allow you to um, modulate the key. So connect your pitch input for key in to this key output, and then it's going to be wired up just like the other ones. Um, so this is pretty similar. It's basically looking for um, information from that shaper to go through these different CV sequencers. And if you fall into the right section, it's going to send out at one value, and the gate will be allowed to pass through to a MIDI note generator that gets mixed down and then transposed back down um, and then sent out as MIDI. So you can 
you can use this internally for Drambo. You can use this as just a MIDI tool to sequence um, other apps or hardware or whatever. Um, if you have any questions about how this one works, just um, you know, say something in the comments. If you have ideas for how this could be better or more straightforward, um, or like a, an idea for a future, um, if you want to, let me know, or just upload your own project um, and share it with everyone else. Um, on patch storage. So have fun.